transshipment is a specialized form of transportation where um, we have um, some sources that we usually do in this case i have nebraska colorado i have final sinks chicago st louis cincinnati and additional to the transportation problems i have some intermediate warehouses kansas city omaha and des moines now these warehouses are not production they don't have a capacity to produce on their own they merely transship and in this problem the transshipment is mandatory because there is no direct route from nebraska to chicago sometimes we might have a direct route possible also but so what do we do whenever i have these kind of problems i first list all possible sources that i have so i have nebraska and colorado as my two possible sources which i go here and copy and paste i have from um, kansas city all the these three are also sources because they can supply to chicago st louis and cincinnati and then i have my destinations the um, kansas city omaha and des moines they three can be my destinations right because um, they are um, i do supply to them from um, the original sources so those three are my destinations and my final destinations are the chicago st louis cincinnati <coughs> these are my final destinations so i have completed my table here and the next step is i will make the borders for these people i'm making an extra border because i'll have a final demand and um, supply happening there wonderful the borders having done All right so now i know that um, the cost from nebraska to these intermediate warehouses are these i copy them and paste these cost here i know that the cost of intermediate warehouses to cincinnati and chicago and all the final destinations or final sinks and i don't want excel to allocate anything from kansas city to kansas city or omaha and des moines i don't want those allocations so to prevent excel from giving allocations and i know this is a cost minimization problem and i don't want this route to be allocated so i give it a very high cost and because i've given it a high cost um, solver or excel will never allocate them because allocating them would increase the total cost so yeah put a high penalty whenever you don't want a route to be used what you need to do is put a high penalty but anyway so i put all the penalties now i know the demand is going to be 300 here 300 here and uh, my supply i know that the cost has been um, 200 100 and 300 in here my demand is equal to supply 600 300 300 plus 300 and so i know that nebraska and colorado will have to supply everything that they have the three markets or the final destinations the sinks will receive everything that they need and um, the intermediate warehouses well they don't produce anything but, but they will have to send off whatever they receive so uh, from all we know there is a possibility that kansas city can receive the full 600 from both nebraska and colorado it may not it will may not receive all but that's the maximum possibility that it, they can receive all 600 and uh, the dispatch possibility is also maximum 600 they can receive that maximum 600 and uh, once i have created this i will create the next sheet which is for the decision variables or how much to ship from which source to which intermediate warehouse and which sink i will delete these numbers here and i say this particular is equal to sum of all these numbers here because um, that's the total that the kansas city will receive and accordingly i create copy here uh, how much will nebraska dispatch is equal to sum of all these numbers here if you want to see the formula in the formula bar and uh, 
and my total cost will be the sum product. of all the sourcing and this transportation decisions and what is the unit cost of transportation. Done. And once I do this, I get a zero here, um, which is fine, but let's test this formula. So suppose I ship one unit from Nebraska to Kansas City. I know that the row O must have one if I ship one here. This uh, line number 10 or row number 10 must have a one here and this cost must be 16. Let's see if I put a one here. Cost is 16. This is one shipping from Kansas City and one ships from Nebraska, ships to Kansas City. Fine, let's test one more. This cost is 12. So 16 plus 12, it must make it 28. It does. So our model works and in the next video we are going to try and use the right constraints and um, create the lowest cost and the transportation network for shipping things from Nebraska and Colorado to the final three sinks through our intermediate warehouses.